Hello, this is Brandon Christie, President of Retirement Benefits Institute. So today's topic, pay freezes. Now here we sit in early 2018, but congressional leaders are already planning ahead for what 2019 may have in store for federal employees. The current standing is the White House suggesting a federal pay freeze for federal employees next year. President Donald Trump has had this to say, across the board pay increases have long-term fixed costs, yet fail to address existing pay disparities or target mission critical recruitment and retention goals. The administration therefore proposes a pay freeze for federal civilian employees for 2019, end quote. Along with the federal pay freeze is the possibility that those in the military selflessly serving our nation will receive a 2.6% raise. With the threat of a federal pay freeze on the horizon for next year, congressional leaders are pursuing other avenues of opportunity they would like to offer and pass that do not support President Trump's proposed federal pay freeze. Federal pay raises are based on an annual across-the-board pay adjustment formula under the general schedule. At this time, under the formula, federal employees are subject to receive a 2% base pay raise in 2019. President Trump can choose to diverge from this formula, however, Congress is able to propose and pass alternative figures. Among the proposals are other changes to, be, to federal benefits. They are as follows. One, increase employee contributions by 1% each year. Two, to eliminate cost of living adjustments or COLAs for current and all future federal employee retirement system or FERS and a 0.5% cut to the CSRS cost of living adjustments. Three, calculation of future retirement benefits on federal employees going to the high five years of salary versus the current high three. And fourth, eliminate the FERS Special Provision Supplement or the SRS. Well, it is important to keep in mind that just last year federal employees were faced with these same proposed changes and by a close vote of 216 to 212, the House passed the Senate's legislation that did not implement any of these changes. Unfortunately, every year federal employees face the threat of cuts being made to their federal benefits. This seems to be par for the course when working for the federal government. Federal employees should remain well informed about any changes or proposed changes to their benefits. If you'd like further assistance in understanding your federal employee benefits and you are within about three years of retirement, analysts at Retirement Benefits Institute would be happy to help you. Give us a call at 877-864-1145 or click Get Support below. And by the way, we will continue to post videos through this medium. So please become part of our group and, uh, and like us on YouTube, Facebook, other places, and we'll be glad to keep you informed as things change and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.